Radical. I set myself up a challenge. It's 11.05. Let's see if I can upload this and do the show off Saturday. This will be fun. In under an hour, let's see if I can do this. You know, Review Tech USA, you know, him and other YouTubers claim that YouTube is, oh, such hard work, so hard work, you know, and it takes so long to do the uploading thing, but I'm going to prove to you all I can upload two times in under an hour. Here's some quick thoughts on Boogie, Boogie Woogie Woogie Man, Boogie 2988's uh, WOW Video Game Museum in Dallas Upload. The first thing I'll notice right away is that it doesn't have a whole lot of downvotes. I'm used to clicking on a boogie upload when I do like um, my thoughts on one of these, and I'll see a whole lot of downvotes. And here's the reason why. It's usually it's usually because uh, A, either the upload is him, well, one of these is drowning in stupidity, what's like to be boogie 2988. Uh, it's all these pity party uploads. You know, oh man, this is terrible. My life is terrible. It's so terrible to be me. Oh, 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 woe is me, basically, you know? And people can only get so much of that before they're like, okay, dude, we're just done with hearing you, like, bitch moan and complain about how terrible your life is. You know, there's people that actually financially are doing a lot worse off than Boogie2988. In many ways, they're doing a lot worse off. Boogie 2988, he's the kind of guy that can go fucking buy a Tesla or try to get people to buy him a Tesla. You know, so there's not a whole lot of pity for Boogie 2988. Now, um, I think there's some self-awareness to that. And I'll get to the WoW Video Game Museum in Dallas in a second. I think there's some self-awareness to that because it seems like, at least on the surface, he's trying to clean up that act. You know, he's no longer making fun of black people uh, in the Apex Legend streams, you know, he's no longer, you know, well, I mean, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. Okay, I'm going to stop myself. I was going to go on a Boogie 2988 tangent, but let's focus on this WoW Video Game Museum in Dallas upload. Well, he made a trip to the Video Game Museum. And there's people in the comment section saying, like, well, there's a Video Game Museum here. There's people that live there and don't know there's a Video Game Museum. That tells you like how big of how little of a thing it is a video game museum. Like it's just not one of those things that a lot of people I don't know, maybe John Hancock, maybe a lot of people are excited about it, but you're looking at a very limited number of people that are really really jumping up and down excited. Yeah, let's go to the video game museum. Even people that live there. Even people that live there in a way either don't give a shit or don't care or they wouldn't make a a big big deal out of it okay i mean there's some cool things in there you know the giant size pong stuff there uh there's some rare items there's some interesting displays if you want to look at the history of video games and stuff hey it's it's that's okay it's good there's cereals there and i believe boogie 2988 100% when he looked at the cereal and he was like, wow, you know, if if they led me, I would eat that cereal. If I could get behind the glass, I would eat that cereal. I'm like, I hope they were watching Boogie. You know, maybe maybe it was maybe it was supper time and Boogie wanted some fucking cereal. I bet he would like go through all that freaking cereal, you know, but the cereal was kind of cool to see. They had all the displays and they had all the controllers, all the game systems Um, But just to be honest, I was kind of expecting a bit more. Maybe there's some things in the museum he didn't show off. Uh, They had, you know, a a set of arcade machines. They had some, they had Dreamcast display. They had some game displays from stores. Uh, They had a World Championships cart, the gray one, uh, not the gold one. Maybe they have it, but they just didn't want to display the gold one. I don't know. They had some rare stuff. They had a set of Mario's actual tools signed, I believe, which is kind of a weird item. A lot of this stuff was kind of, like, weird, and I thought, okay, you know, Mario's tools. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of rare items there. A lot of rare gaming items. I gotta be honest with you, when it comes to, like, the rare 
gaming items, like the older gaming items, I just don't feel a lot of nostalgia. Like, I just don't feel it. I don't get the nostalgia feels for a lot of that stuff. And I guess that is required, I suppose, to really get into that particular upload. I feel personally, a lot of stuff from the past, tech-wise, it's meant to stay in the past. Okay? For every amazing game like, you know, Contra on the NES... There's a lot of stinkers like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Let's be honest here, okay? So most of that stuff is crap from the past. Let's just be perfectly honest. Most of it is crap, especially like from the 80s and 90s, okay? Hopefully that doesn't trigger a lot of people, but let's just be 100% perfectly honest. Most of that stuff, tech-wise, tech is crap, and it's not deserving of tens of thousands of dollars to buy and to worship. It's really not, you know? I just want to make sure to anger as many collectors as I possibly can with that last statement. Okay, so there we go. That's my quick thoughts on that. Wow, my video game uh, trip to the museum in Dallas. I tell you what, I'm looking at some of these boogie uploads, and there's a couple of these I could probably uh, sink sharper teeth into, like even Review Tech USA agrees. Some about his critic agrees with him it's a shocker there that review tech usa is critical of someone that he supports kind of like when he was i'm doing that thing with my fingers critical of mr john hancock for all those false copy strikes he never mentioned like the e-bagging and all the game stuff and the museum things but okay but remember review tech usa was critical of john hancock and then instantly, you know, turned around and uh, started kissing his ass, basically, you know.